and then my back sits right here. We'll go ahead and trim that up now. Trim, 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 trim. Okay, so there it is. Now let's go ahead and draw this one in because I have all six points I got. Top, 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 bottom, 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 right? So we can draw this edge in now. It's going to look just like such. And what about that little line up there? Um, this vertical line right that here? The one that's over there in the blue? This one? That's a true size line of it. I'm just going to leave it on my drawing. I would put it on something like maybe the viewports layer because it's never going to plot. But I'm going to leave it on there so I don't, if I ever come back and have to edit anything on this elevation, I've still got it on my screen. I don't need to go re-establish it. If you want to delete it, go ahead. Okay. Or maybe just throw it on a layer and make your own, call it true size, and then just turn it off. And then if you ever have to go back and edit this drawing, turn it back on. That you can do. Use those layers. They'll help you save some stuff. All right. So we've got that taken care of. Oh, we do. We can finish this too because the top of the roof. You see this. Let me go up here. We have a joint where these two roofs meet, which goes from the top of the garage to the top of the patient. I've got both of those points on my drawing. Because there's the top and there's the top right here. So it goes from there to there. Um, let me switch those because those are final lines. That one and that one. Got one more that's final. That one and that one. Okay. Alrighty. Now let's go. It, it looks these two ends kind of look a little weird. In that. Now I'm going to switch to the bottom of the roof. The bottom of the roof I see here, and it's going to shoot behind the house somewhere. This bottom is going to shoot behind the house. This one right here vanishes right. I've already got the height, so all I need to do is take this and vanish it to the right picture plane, and then trim it right here. Okay. See how that works? Mm -hmm kind of just all of a sudden fills that gap in, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. This one right here is on a vanish left plane. So let's just take this guy, vanish and left, and trim him where he goes behind the house. What about the one on the very okay. top? See that? That's the one I'm getting ready to deal with. Okay. So that takes care. So let me switch those off. These are now final. All right. Now we get to kind of the tricky part. We also see this joint where the roof comes in and meets this wall. The wall's vertical all the way to the top. So here's where you need to pay attention to what you're doing. We know it starts right here, because here's the top of the wall. It's going to run up here until it meets the bottom of the roof. So this is why I kept the thickness of the roof. I need to locate up here where my roof meet, meets the wall. You see it in your roof plan. So it is, the point we're looking for here is this point right here. Isn't that right underneath the mm -hmm. peak at the top of the wall? Mm -hmm. okay. That's the point you're looking for. Okay, so let me use my station point from here. And then I'm going to bring that point straight down. Well, this is the wall. There's the bottom of my roof. There's the point. So I need a line that goes from right here to the top of my wall. Now, I no longer need the bottom. And I can trim this back to where I see it. There's that joint. Okay. Kind of cool how that works? Mm -hmm. Yeah, man, that's groovy. <laughs> okay. 
but it, it kind of, it's a weird angle. You can't just kind of guess this thing. You need to find that point up here where it physically meets. Then you can draw it in and it's going to be like your eye sees it. We'll do the same thing on the garage. Because we've got the same situation over here where I come from top of wall back up into here. So I'm going to go from station point to where my wall meets underneath the roof and then bring that point straight down. Okay. And that's going to come down, meet the bottom of my roof and come over here. Uh, this I don't need anymore. This I don't need anymore. Don't need this. Don't need this. And then we'll trim that guy back. <coughs> this is no longer needed. Let me kind of clean up here for a second. Okay, so I don't need any of that wall. Looks like here. I can't see the top of this wall. It's behind the fascia. So I'm just going to trim that out. Let's trim that out. Delete this one. And I can trim this one. Okay. All right, so there it is. Now I got one more <coughs> line that I need to deal with. This roof ends and it shoots down till it meets this roof. What I'm going to see is the top edge, right? The top edge. So I know it starts here. It's going to go till it hits the top edge of this one. And that's shown in your roof plan again. What you're looking for here on the roof plan is this line right here. I'll just draw it so you can make sure there's no, it's this line. So, or excuse me, sorry, that's the wrong line. <laughs> what we're looking for is this line from right here. So it comes from this peak down to where it hits here. Okay? Mm -hmm. That's the line we're looking for here. So I'm going to use the station point. I pretty much have got most of this from there. And I'm snapping to that point. Let me bring that straight down. So it's going to fall on this line, and it's going to fall on this top. This is a vanished left plane. Where are those two meet is right here. So that line goes from there to there. Okay. So let me just trim that up now. So all I'm going to do is trim it all the way back to there. I needed to do all that just to find that little segment right there. Okay, you pretty much are done with the structure at this point. I'm going to stop there. So you got the rest of the day to do it. I don't expect you to remember all that. Just keep in mind, go true size, track your planes around. Go true size, track your planes around. Know if you're dealing with the top of the roof or the bottom of the roof. Understand those views. All you're doing is locating points along those lines. Tomorrow, we'll pop this thing back up. I'm going to add the garage apron to it, and then uh, I'll do a couple other things, like maybe I'll do window trim, I think is one of your extra credit points. I'll show you how to do that. Um, maybe I'll show you how to put some brick on it or stucco or something like that too. Mm -hmm. So you can start thinking outside the box and adding a little art to this thing. Because this is the technical end, now it turns to an art project. If, if you do want to print this off and do something with it, at this point, change all these line weights to 002 print it and you can use that as a guide while you paint or color or something of that nature. So we'll, I'll deal with this drawing every morning for the next few days where I'll just kind of say, hey, you know, I'm going to add this to it today. Here's how I'm going to do it. Just so you can get some of that. If you run across something we haven't talked about, um, come see me. I may not know how to do it, but we'll wing it until we get it figured out. Tomorrow, ISOs, and then we'll expand on this drawing a little bit. We also got a couple of those commands on the handout I gave you that I want to review. Any questions for me? Have fun with it. Ask questions.